folks, Tony Tutone here with you from beautiful Sacramento, California. As we're here tonight to, uh, in the Arco Arena to basically give you another great episode of Winter Circle Wrestling. And tonight's main event is going to be Bandito defending a title against ROH title against Matt Seidel. Um, Matt Seidel, a.k.a. MS Born. But, uh, you know... This is going to be before he goes next week to face off one on one against Danhausen for the WCW World Title. And of course, yeah, joining me right now at the announcing table is the lead, the was it our lead commentator here in the Federation, Fatal. Thank you very much, Tony. I mean, it's really great to be here in beautiful Sacramento, California. I know it's been a little bit of a hike, basically, because. You know, I just got done uh, doing a show on Wednesday, helping out my alumni in uh, MSW, and then coming over here, getting a quick flight. I, that didn't give me much time to rest, but I'm here, and I'm glad you are, Fatal. First of all, I'm going to start off with a grudge match between Alistair Black and Chris Dickinson. Yeah, and you know what these two have in common? Brody King. Yeah, Alistair Black was trying to coerce King to come back to the House of Black. It seems like it's working, and Chris Dickinson's not happy because Dickinson says that he's been loyal to Brody in their war as Violence Unlimited, but it seems like that Brody is may, may have given up on that. So Dickinson, instead of going at it with Brody King, he's going to try to go at it with Malachi, he's going to try to go at it with Malachi Black. I'm sorry, keep forgetting he's Malachi, not Alistair. Indeed. And I'll tell you what, this should be an interesting matchup. You're going to see a, a heck of a fight here. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be great. And I'll tell you what, we got uh, Kai Black coming to the ring. And here comes Mr. Sinister himself, Malachi Black. Yeah, I wonder what the heck he's got planned here. I mean, we do know that Malachi and Brody have an alliance and Pro Wrestling Gorilla, and they are the tag team champions. Yeah. And that kind of like worries me because, I, you know what? Yeah, man, now it's going to be probably Dickinson. This uh, alliance solidifies. You are not kidding about that. And I'll tell you what, I'm not, you know, fans, I don't think fans will be really happy with it. There'll be some fans that are pretty happy with it if they're, if they're fans down there in uh, California. Where Pro Wrestling Gorilla is at, we're in the same state where they run the shows. No doubt about it. I mean, it's kind of like you, all you can say is, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell is right? I mean, let's call it what it is. We'll see how this all plays out. I'll tell you that much right now. Who the hell knows? I think he's thinking something sinister, Marcus. I'm pretty sure he is thinking something sinister. Do you want to even ask Malachi Black what he's thinking? I don't know. I would prefer to uh, not find out. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, you know. And here's Chris, but here's somebody else that take a shot. It would be Chris Dickinson. I'll tell you what, Chris Dickinson is not afraid of anybody. No, he isn't. I'll tell you that much right now. It's called what it is. I mean, come to think about it. And this is gonna, like I said, it's going to be interesting. So. 
As we watch uh, Dickinson come down the ring, I wonder what he's going to be thinking about it. You know? What is going on? I couldn't think about it. That is for sure. I'll tell you that much right now. And I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. Definitely for sure. And right now, Dickinson taking it to... Uh, Oh, look at that, Malachi. Oh, man. Smacks him that knee in the face, and Dickinson is a little dizzy. He's going down. Oh, and another nasty knee to the face. Still to come tonight, we also got Clark Connors defending the TV title against EC3. We also have the ROH World title on the line as Matt Seidel, based off of his record, gets a shot at Bandito. Or let's just say MS Born for that matter. And Dickinson taking it too. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what what the heck? Oh no. What is, what is going on here? Dickinson's a little distracted by something. What what's going on? And I guess he thinks somebody. Oh no, no, not Brody. Oh. Well, that just nailed a coffin there, Fatal. What do you think? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh. Man. Another stable implodes in front of us. Violence Unlimited seems like they're gone. Yeah, you better believe it. That's sad. Oh, man. I guess the House of Black is in business. H.O.B. Yeah, that's not going to be good for the other tag teams in MLW. And right now, Dickinson taking out his frustration now. The Dirty Daddy, the, U the UWN World Champion, the United Wrestling Network. Network champion. Oh, right in the face again. And now, oh, X T Bone. I, you know, I'm gonna always call that T Bone. Screw it called, called, screw it called the Exploder. He might. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out and see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, meet, yeah, sad day today. I'll tell you what, Meat Loaf and Louie Anderson gone. I mean, two of our uh, two uh, people that really meant a lot for the uh, Generation X. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, that could be possible. I mean, uh, who knows? We don't know that yet. You're gonna have to talk to. You. MSW offices about that. I only commentate there. I'm only filling in for Ali. Yeah, that's for sure. You don't know all the answers, right, Patel? Not quite. And right now, but I do know that Dickinson right now has got Malachi Black in trouble. Oh, Rams against the turnbuckle. Oh, but Black comes back and oh, just call him that suplex. Unbelievable. Oh, now in the clothesline, and now another clothesline. He's just run over Dickinson right now. Clotheslines and, uh, and sweeps away. Sweep the leg, Mally. Don't you mean sweep the leg, Johnny? That's I, I was making a parody of it, uh, Tony. Ah, I get it. And right now, oh, wait a minute. Dickinson sent him up. Game changer it is. Pile drive. I miss you too, sweetie. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, I'll talk to you later on. Yeah, Scotty. He's like he's like a he's like a love, he's like a love sick puppy. I swear to goodness. A, th a 320 pound love sick puppy. That is true. He's more he's more like a saint. He's like a love sick puppy of the Saint Bernard version. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
How's it going between Jade and uh, Bat right now? I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's any... Uh, I don't know what's going on because Jade uh, last week, if anybody noticed, she threw out the flowers that Chris Bat brought her. Alex Dickinson, that would be Chris Dickinson, sir. Yeah. The Dirty Daddy, the uh, UWN World Champion, going to work here against one half of the PWG Tag Team Champions. Can you tell how many, how much prestige, how much our federations are representing this area? Oh, definitely, and oh, oh, there's that Razor's Edge power bomb. He loves to use. I mean, yeah. There you go. That could be it. No, Black kicks out. And I'll tell you what, yeah, it should be interesting. Like I said, I can't wait for Connors against EC3. I mean, EC3's been on a wall. He's gotten some big victories, including uh, last week against Davey Richards, which I think the match, yeah, I think the match was decided that the winner of that match would have got a TV title shot, and uh, EC3 won it. The narrative, looking to see if they can grab their first title. And, oh! There's, a, there's another T-bone suplex type move right there, and Chris drop right on the face. I mean, Chris Dickinson smells of intensity. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh! But Malachi Black catches him right there with that knee. Oh, wow. Zack Sabre Jr. had to tap it out the Hammerstone. Wow. Oh! And Dickinson just got busted open. That could be it. That's his own version of the uh, move they call the V-Trigger. And I'll tell you what. Oh, and Dickinson kicks out. Now the ROH World title, I'll tell you what. It's Got a lot of prestige to it, no doubt about it. Right now, it's being held here by Bandito. We got, we got everybody uh, home known version of the title, and I can understand it. I mean, for a while there was two uh, ROH World Champions running around in Grosso and Bandito, and then we unified them in a uh, match a couple weeks ago. Indeed, I'll tell you what. I mean, I, you know what? I gotta thank uh, Kerry Silken and. Uh, ROH for giving us, uh, giving us uh, rights to uh, let the Tells be defended here. Chris Bat visiting who the, and shocked who the victim is. Oh my gosh. I, ho I hope it's nobody that we know of. Oh, that burn victim that was found in the, uh, yeah, that was it basically, oh geez. Yeah, he he suffered some uh, really uh, what a what a bad break for the individual. I wonder who the heck it is. Oh, he gets caught. The black mask prevent it. Good job, Dickinson. Wow, I'm impressed. He prevented the black mask. Are you kidding me? Oh, and a pile driver. Oh, good gosh. He just drilled him. That could be it. You know who would be happy with that pile driver if he's still alive? Who would that be, Fatal? Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff. Yeah, that was a nice catch, no doubt about Dickinson. I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed. I know he's rebounding back from that six-man loss when uh, him, Richards, and Alexander lost the narrative. What's we'll on his face? Oh, good gosh. Everybody's got facial injuries all of a sudden now. It's like Tonic had him, and now, oh, and Dickinson wins. Wow. Unbelievable. Dirty Daddy Dickinson wins it. This is the reason why he holds the UN, UWN title. I wouldn't mind seeing that title defended here. I mean, you know, I, I think that's the, that's the dream of Quentin, Tonic, and uh, Kenny. They said they want to make this 
an all-around federation where anybody can defend their belts. Yeah, except for, uh, was I think, uh, except for MSW, that's nothing personal against MSW. I mean, MSW's under elite level. You know what, I guess they, they kind of like look at us like uh, we're not really uh, elite. Yeah. But you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him any disrespect because I did wrestle with him. Man. I did wrestle for him for a long time. Dickinson may be back on the edge of uh, maybe getting back on the singles title rankings, either against an ROH title, uh, maybe a uh, WCW title, or even that matter. Who knows? Maybe the NWA's look at him. Maybe he might get a title shot there. Or wait a minute. We do have an open weight champion here in, from New Japan by the name of Tom Lawler, the strong open weight champion. Maybe they'll force him to go against Dickinson again. I wouldn't mind seeing that one. Lawler against Dickinson? Bring it on. That would be a hell of a matchup. All right, folks, we got, uh, oh, wait a minute, Scott Tonic's coming out here. It's weird seeing him with a thin layer of hair and just stubble on his face. I mean, I'll tell you what, I know he's recovering. He says he wants, he wants to plan to get the mohawk again when he uh, grows enough hair. <laughs> you know what, he, he looks good for a person that just went through re facial reconstruction surgery. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll admit that much right now. They have helped him out pretty well. They could have, you know what? The only thing that, you know what? And I'm not bothered by it, the scar on his forehead. Yeah, look like he got, uh, yeah. I'm not going to mention it. I mean, poor guy. But I'm glad he's back to almost normal. I'm glad he's back to normality. Folks, don't forget, God Mark 76 tomorrow night. WCW Saturday night at 6. And don't forget to watch Clash of Champions that was on yesterday. Great stuff. Oh, indeed, I'll tell you what. Yeah. You want to go uh, with old school action? Watch God Mark 76 and Vince McSham. Hello, everybody. It feels good to be back. Uh, in, in the business, uh, in the war room again with uh, Joe and Corey and everybody else that makes this federation special. And I'll tell you what, without those guys, I wouldn't think this federation would be special. But you know what? With their hard work and effort, I thank you. And it's awesome. I'll tell you that much right now. But I have a problem with a certain person. I guess my buddy, Mr. Hovis. Christopher decides he thinks he's going to go over to MSW and manage Mayhem while he's over here wrestling WCW. No, it doesn't work like that, Christopher. You know what? I'm going to tell you what right now. You you left that area abruptly. Six Star has called me and told me he doesn't want you back. You Not even a manager. Not even as a janitor. And he doesn't care if you're an FBI agent or not. I'll tell you that much right now. And you know what? You're here with us now. And just just because you're Owen two does not mean you get to you get to put your head between your legs and run. We gotta put up with you. We gotta put up with your wife's sweetness. I mean, God Almighty, you're gonna start working for us. And I'll tell you how much right now. And here comes Christopher. Oh boy, resident head case. Uh, you know what, get it right, Tony, it's Agent Christopher. Oh, excuse me, I do apologize. It's okay, Tony, it's not your fault. Because Christopher will cuss you out about it, I know that much. 
What do you mean I can't come back to MSW, you butthead? Where's your problem? You know, you always have a problem with me. I'll tell you that much right now. You know what I, you know, you know what my regimen is? No politics. Now you tell me why six killers ban me for that area. I'll tell you that much why. Why? I did my time over there. He says you left it abruptly. You just didn't leave, you didn't leave a message when you were leaving or anything like that. You know? And six killers, he says he doesn't want you back over there right now. You know, he had enough of your shenanigans, so guess what? You're over here now. He doesn't even want you managing mayhem. You know, just because you're an agent doesn't mean you get all the power to do what a diddly do you want. I'll diddly do you, you know, be quiet, Sonic. You know? What the heck? What are you gonna do to me, huh? You know? I'll tell you what, you can't do nothing to me. I'm a bona fide superstar besides being a bona fide FBI agent. I can have you put in jail. No, 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 no. You, know, you can't put me in jail. Django has already, already told me that you don't have, as long as you're rustling in any area, you, ha you don't have your FBI agent powers. That's right, you don't have your FBI agent powers. You know what? And if you try getting out of this contract, I will sue you for breach of contract. Do you understand? I will sue you. I will sue Sweetness. I will make you do awkward things. Ah, you big, you big bonehead bum. I'll tell you what. You ain't gonna put up with this. I am gonna make a group over here. And I, we're gonna take over WCW. And I'm gonna do any damn thing I want to. That includes invading MSW and making six toes like a living hell. You understand? You can go ahead and try, Christopher. But you know what? You ain't gonna get anywhere. We have a very well locker room in the back. I'll tell you that much right now. And you know, I know we're gonna get a whole bunch of people to help you out. I know, oh wait a minute, there are some scumbags in the back, but not many. You know? Let me tell you something right now. How come Mark is allowed to manage and uh, Russell and manage here and Russell and MSW and how come I can't do vice versa here, huh? No, this is ridiculous. Let me tell you that much right now. You, I want you to explain to me right now. You understand? You didn't read your contract. You signed an exclusive contract. You didn't sign a non-exclusive contract that lets you go right, jumping from left to right to the forbidden door. The only forbidden door you can jump through is WTF, and I see that, that that's what happens. You uh, kind of like turning a gray, you turn into this gray, ugly creature that looks like Roger from American Dad. Ah, oh, screw you, uh, Tonic, you know? I'm gonna tell you that much right now. <laughs> you, ah. Uh, you call me Roger? How dare you? What? I don't look like no alien. I don't look like no stinking alien tonic. You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in your place, you understand? I'm gonna beat you in front of your girlfriend. And who knows, maybe we'll take your girlfriend hostage and torture her. Whoa. What the hell? Whoa. He even touches a hand on me. I was... I will personally pluck his eyes out. Well, Fatal, I understand you're angry. You go, Fatal, but as long as you're behind the commentating table, you know you can't put your hands on anybody. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about it, okay? That is the thing I hate about it. I seen it when Christopher signed the contract. Tonic showed me in. I mean, uh, Corey and Joe showed me, and it says exclusive. Only area he's allowed to go to is WTF. He's not allowed in MSW anymore since they, he, from what I heard from Six Killer, he abruptly left.
Well, I'll put it this way, Fatale. I think I think that's that the reason why Joe Corey and Scott made this area is because they wanted a utopia for all my MSW because I guess Yeah, they wanted a utopia. They wanted to do their own old school territorial thing. I mean, they thought it was getting too glitzy and glamoury, so they're over here doing their own utopia. Oh, come on! Christopher just jumped on Fez in the backstage area, and now he just threw him right through the catering window. Oh, my gosh. Somebody get this maniac out of here. And now Marcus wants a microphone. Oh, boy. Oh, hell's going to break loose. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, I'm, uh, I'm shocked. I forgot that six year said he didn't want Christopher back over there. I remember he told me the one night uh, on Wednesday, he's like, good luck on dealing with him. I was like, okay, wow, wow. Fez may need stitches here, folks. Oh, this is pitiful. Damn. This is pitiful. Well, Marcus is talking about his loss. Unfortunately, with Morgan Frost, I was I was shocked about that. Yeah, it's like wow. Frost got one on him. I was like, I, I was really shocked. I, I felt sad and I was really shocked. I was, unfortunately, I, had, I was there at the commentating table watching it. Me and Duke. How is Duke doing? Duke's doing good. And the policemen are holding back Scott saying, asking Christopher if he wants him. Oh my gosh. Oh, geez, Scott, be careful, honey. Be careful. I do not trust Christopher one damn bit. And there's Ashley Vox and Del Delmi XO, the Sea Stars. Yet again, ready to challenge uh, who I consider my nieces. Asia and uh, Angie, the best friend squad. And Marcus just told Christopher that he can keep on living in his little agent fantasy world, but he now has the whole locker room gunny for him, and that includes himself. Wow. Oh, boy. Wait a minute, would that mean that Marcus would be willing to wrestle in uh, WCW? Wow. Huh. I mean, it doesn't have to be a long-term contract. It could just be a one-match contract. Oh, my gosh. Mask Miller and Scott are attacking Scott with pipes. What the hell? Oh, gosh. I hope he's all right. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Security, for God's sake, get back there, will you? Hey, easy. Easy, Fatal. I'm trying to take it easy. Oh, my gosh. And there was the Sea Stars right there, and... There's your tag team champions, Asia and Angie, the BFS, the best friend squad. You know, I mean, uh, let's put it that way. I mean, uh, Angie, I mean, she looks good after ha giving birth to uh, S little Simon. And in June, that's going to, I think in June, it's going to be his first birthday. That's, you know, that's always a great occasion when you're a mother. And Scott pushing him off in the back, we're seeing right now. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Scott, you know what, Scott may uh, be old, but he's still got some fighting ability. No doubt, but I wouldn't put it past him. 
And we got Box and Angie starting off here. And Angie throwing off. Uh, Box off of her. Oh, and Box with a close eye. You know what? They may be my nieces, but you know what? They gotta be careful to see stars. I mean, this is a very underestimated team. Delmi was like the first women's champion. And Scott is a little bloody, but he's being helped in the medical car. Oh man, come on. You know, has this got, uh, yeah, you're right. I agree, Fata. I know what you could say, right? Uh, has this got been to enough? Yeah. Oh, man. Delmi just flushed out Angie with that forearm shot. These are some girls that are determined to maybe win those titles tonight. And Fez also. Oh, code breaker. Oh, no, that could be it. Oh, wait a minute. Delmi did not go for the pin. Maybe that was a good thing. Oh, but look at that. Angie fighting back here, folks. And Star Angel going to work. We got uh, Asia going at it. Oh, man. And Asia called the, the second oldest daughter of Joe Masker. Well, the oldest daughter technically of Masker and Red Rose who is our general manager here in the women's division. And I gotta give Rose a lot of credit. She has not let favoritism get in the game. Uh, and she knows her daughter's a tag team champ and she knows her other daughter's getting a uh, world title shot, but uh, she has not, she has made her girl, girls earn. No doubt about it. Oh, uh, but Ashley Box uh, nails uh, Asia with that infamous running European uppercut. That is gonna sting. Oh, and Asia with a beautiful, beautiful running knee, kitchen sink knee. And right now, oh man, LaBelle lock. That is a LaBelle lock, you can tell that much right now. You stick, you stick that arm or, uh, you, you stick that arm, neutralize that arm and then put the chin lock on there, submission. Oh man, look at this. Oh. Man, pump handle face buster by Asia Call. Oh man, nasty knee drop, leg drop, spinning leg drop by, oh, Box is just giving it to her. I mean, like I said, don't sleep on the Sea Stars. Oh, missed the drop kick, but here we go. Ashley Vox, she cut her, her and Delmi cut their teeth in uh, NW, I mean, uh, was it in uh, the independent areas before Ashley got big in the NWA. And now they're both in MLW also. And there's a beautiful senton by Angie using uh, Asia as a tower. That is beautiful when they can uh, make that happen. And of course, yeah, we keep forgetting Ashley and uh, Delmi are California favorites. They wrestle in all the California areas. That's the reason why Angie's not getting much fanfare here. It's not really personal. It's just fair. It's just home field with advantage. That it is. And right now, Delmi just went flying on Angie. And right now, oh, Angie getting the putting ropes in. Oh, missed the double chop. Oh, cold breaker again on Angie. Wow. And Marcus uh, is still in disbelief about I can't believe that Christopher would do that, would do that talk about going to a low level. You would never see uh, him or any of his guys doing that. Definitely, I mean, you know, I know you had that role with the Hurt Business, but you know what, that's pretty minor compared to all, all the freaking achievements you did. No doubt about it, I, I will give you credit on that. But of course, who hasn't, who hasn't walked down that little uh, path of darkness sometimes? But it's just, uh, the problem is it's just with the people that stay down it. Let's call it what it is.
And now Angie with the uh, dual arm drag and now a clothesline. And now Angie, uh, I think she's trying to sell Domi for something. We know this uh, infamous glitch. We watch as uh, Odell Larson watching the match. He used to be a referee here in MSW. Now we got him over here in uh, WCW. I think he was. I think he uh, referees in both areas. Referees are not really, uh, unfortunately, non-exclusive contracts. I guess it's been decided by the referees' union or whatever it is. Oh, Angel's touch. Beautiful move, I'll tell you that much right now, but. Oh, and right there, breaks up the pin is gonna be, wow. This is a hell of a matchup with these two. I mean, these are two teams that want to walk out the champions, but only, unfortunately, one of them can only do that. And that's it, Best Friend Squad retained the title, wow. And Asia putting down Angie as they found out that they just won the match and retained the titles. I'll tell you what, unbelievable. Yeah, that sure was. I'll tell you that much right now. That sure was. Oh, I love when the uh, I love when the systems do this. They they fall asleep and uh, basically, you know. I'm sorry, we'll get back to the conversation here momentarily. No doubt about it. Yeah, good news about it was uh, out of character here for a minute. I did buy a new wireless adapter and it will work and it's great. I'll tell you what. I actually feel proud of myself, guys. I nip, I, I was, I, I took the bull by the horns and uh, took care of that situation. It's beautiful. And there are still your tag team champions, uh, Fatal, Asia and Angie. They, their teamwork is impeccable. Who the heck is gonna be throwing these goals? That's the question I wanna know. I don't know, who knows? Maybe time can tell there might be two individuals that might do it. Coming up next, we got Keith Lee against Richard Austin. Oh, this is going to be an interesting challenge for the up-and-coming Richard Austin. He's got the Bearcat to go against. And no, I'm not going to call him Bearcat Lee because he doesn't want to be called that. I'll call, you know, I'm going to call him a better nickname, Limitless. That's what he is. No doubt about it. And shout-out time for Marcus coming up here. All right, let's get the ring right now as we got Keith Lee against Richard Austin. Six matches here tonight. We're in the third of six. Next Friday, championship caliber Friday. That's right.
Yeah, Microsoft buying Activision. That's a huge uh that is a huge purchase. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, definitely. Well, they said that Activision need Microsoft to push them forward, I guess, supposedly, they said. So, hopefully it turns out to be a good venture for uh, my, uh, Microsoft on that one, both for both companies. If I'm correct, I think Activision also made the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. Now, always classic. They did, yeah. You are right about that in the X-Men Legends. I would love to see them revamp those for the, uh, for the upper systems. I know the Ultimate Alliance is out there, but... I would love to see him do X-Men Legends again. One and two. That would be something else. I would love to see that. Microsoft Rewards, yeah, always a good program, definitely. Yeah, get, get your goals, earn some points, cash in for cards, and all kinds of other goodies. No doubt about it, you can never go wrong. No doubt. You know, you gotta give credit also to Microsoft uh, Game Pass for uh, cloud gaming, which is awesome too. No longer you don't have to really download any, you don't, a lot of the games on uh, Game Pass you don't have to download. That is so true. And right now we got Keith Lee and uh, going at it and the Bearcat going to throw Richard Austin in the ropes. Uh, Richard Austin's doing not bad for himself, I'll tell you what, he uh, lost, he, uh, he did lost an unfortunate setback to Noam Dar in his debut. But then he beat Slice Boogie. Yeah. No one dark caught you sleeping, but you were awake against Slice Boogie. I mean, it's an interesting little journey that uh, Richard Austin has put himself together. You know, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, can we have MLB The Show 22 on Game Pass? I think we might. I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't doubt it. That would be awesome if we do. Is that worked out so well when they when 21 was on Game Pass? Oh, definitely. I'll tell you what. Oh, man. Austin with a spear. Wow. He must have nailed Keith Lee in a good, good spot because basically, it's easy. It's easy if you're a small man like Austin knocking off Lee with a spear. Yeah, definitely. That was a feat of strength by Austin. You know that's the thing about uh, that's the thing about the uh, independent areas. I'll tell you what, that's one thing I love about it. it's like what everybody's got to understand. We take a chance on the young stars. They may be rambunctious like uh, that one kid I seen in uh, in MSW uh, by the name of Blackheart. But there's also like the Richard Austins and everybody else, and then of course you had the guys that were, you had the guy that was named after a fish. For that matter. Yeah, definitely cross platform. Oh man. You know what nobody doesn't understand about this now? With, be, with it being cross platform, I'll tell you what. That means you get a slew of watching other great, you get a slew of uh, downloading other great talent. And the talents of the creators on PS4, and there's a lot of them. Particularly McSham and Gottmark. I'll tell you that much right now. I know God Mark, yeah, I know he uses like a lot of great talents there, but you know what? I'm pretty sure he made his own in there too. I wouldn't doubt it. But McSham, I'll tell you what, McSham, you know, he's like one of the he's like one of the most awesome uh careers I've seen out there in uh, old school. Props to him. Oh, definitely. Speaking of which, when I get home tonight, I gotta watch uh, McSham's uh, Saturday Night's main event and uh, Superstars of Wrestling are prime time. I forgot which one it was. I mean, he's got two shows up right now that I haven't got a chance to watch. My apologies, sir. 
Yeah, Vince McShane, one of the great ones. We like getting shout outs. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. That's going to be awesome. I'll definitely order it for the pre order. Yeah. Oh, and also going to work on Keith Lee. Wow. Oh, man, what a spine buster. Austin's got it going. Pushing this, can he close it out? Oh, beautiful hanging on the ropes and hit him with a beautiful thrust drop kick. And right now, oh! Oh, come on, Richard. Did you really have to do that? Horrible. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't pin him after that low blow. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely, no doubt about it. And that's it, Richard Awesome grabs one from Lee, and you can take that low blow. What a quad. Boo! Yeah. What the heck? Okay, Austin got the victory, and uh, just go back in the lock. Oh, no. No, Richard. No. Oh, come on. You slide. What the heck? Is it Devil's Night or something in uh, WCW? Because there's a lot of people being slimy. Brody King, Christopher, and now Richard Austin. Coming up next, we got the TV title on the line. EC3 ready to take on Clark Connors. And I love this glitch right here. Cole Fredericks is in Clark Connors' corner, not, not Adam Scher. Oh, 2K, we love you like a hole in the head when you do that glitch. Yeah, it's really Adam Scher and uh, Killer Cross in the corner for EC3. They're known as a group known as the Narrative. On the other hand, Fredericks and Connors are members of the LA Dojo, currently being trained by Marcus Cass and being mentored by Marcus Cass, who was a, uh, unfortunately, I hate to say, the former X Division champion. I hate using that term. You, me, and the, and the whole freaking musty uh, galaxy hates using that term. No doubt about it. But nonetheless, this should be an interesting matchup. EC3's been on a roll since, uh, ever since making his debut here in uh, WCW. I don't think he's even suffered a loss yet. The very controversial Ethan Carter III, or else, you know, I don't think he wants to even be called that. He's, he, he's called EC3. Yeah. The narrative is a bad bunch of people. And there he is, folks. The guy that's going to challenge Clark Connors tonight. And now he's, oh boy. He's bringing out these two monsters. Adam Scherer and, uh, and uh, Killer, Killer Cross. 
This is not good for business, I can tell you that much right now. Not good for business at all. There they are, folks, the narrative. They feel like they've been screwed big time by one wrestling giant, and now they're taking on the rest of the wrestling world. No doubt about it. Is EC3 going to make Clark, Clark Connors on his next victim tonight? Or is Clark going to be able to withstand the challenge of the narrative leader and keep his title? That is going to be a good question. Only time can tell. You know the guy I'm really afraid of in that group is Killer Cross. Yeah, he he's dangerous. He 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 isn't one can short of a six pack, no doubt about it. He's one fifth short of a full bottle of whiskey. And here we go, folks, coming out to the ring and looking at double champions. We got the TV champ who's wrestling tonight, and we got U.S. champion Carl Fredericks coming out with to, to give his moral support to his partner and friend, Clark. There's been rumors of talent coming around the area. I think I've seen a lot of the MLW talent hanging around here tonight. I've seen two names I've seen in the thing, I could say, Alex Kane and EJ Naduka. Ooh. Those are two bad boys, I'll tell you that much right now. Alex Kane, I'll tell you what, he calls himself the suplex assassin. But of course you also got uh, EJ Naduka, who's a former bodybuilder and football player and a real physical specimen. No doubt about it. And there's Clark Connors right there, that's title holder. So let's go, let's get this going. EC3 who comes from Boca La Raton, Florida. Was one time from Cincinnati, Ohio, but no longer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does want to hear that about being from the Ohio part. And right now, EC3 taking it to the champion, but the champion comes back with a big time. No, he's from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, well, yeah, we take that back. And right now, EC3 giving Clark Connors a hell of a hard time. Oh, but EC3's going to fall him outside their ring. Oh, what a drop kick. Oh, my gosh, man.
man, right now, EC3, oh, ow. Ooh, put that head into the man, rubbing his face into it. Wow. Oh, man, and he, uh, you know what, EC3, with every match, EC3 gets more dangerous. And that is the scary thing about you, are right about that, Fatal. This is not, this may not be going good for, uh, oh, man. Follows him to the outside. Wow. But Clark comes back. Rolls him back in, and what is EC3 going to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Slams him chest first in the apron. That stings. I'll tell you what, that really stings, and now EC3 has... Uh-oh. Oh, but Connors comes back and fights. There's that fighting champion spirit. Indeed, and Clark is trying to still stay in this, and with, good, with great effort. No doubt about it. Oh. If this is that missile drop kick, uh, this is a good setup here. Oh, wait a minute. He, he's calling for EC3 to get off. I think that's what he's going for. Oh, man. Beautiful right on the head. And look at Cross. Come on. Get him down. Seriously. Oh. And Connor's got drilled in the mat as he was trying for that spear. And now EC3, oh, no. This is not good. Oh, man. EC3, uh, ECKO. And that's it, EC3 wins the TV title. Good God almighty. Not good, not good. Wow. EC3 has done it. He's uh, he's grabbed the first title for the narrative. Unfortunately, at Clark Connors' expense. Not good. Oh man. And look at EC3 being a snob and. Just ripping, ripping a TV title out of referee's hands. As now, unfortunately, this is the guy we got put up as the king of all media. I'm not liking it. I would not blame you, Fatal, neither do I. All right, coming up next, oh, we got Jay Call coming out to the ring. Oh, it's going to be nice to see Jay come out to the ring. How, how awesome. I'm so glad she's over here making her comeback. It's incredible. I am so glad. I mean, you know, I was a godmother to this. Uh, I was a godmother to her when she was born. And I'll tell you that much right now. Tony, if you did not know that. Let's get the ring right now. We're going to hear from Jay Call.
Well, hello everybody. I mean, it's so great to be out here with the great fans of WCW. And it's so beautiful because, you know what? I have decided to make 2022 simply my year. And I'll tell you what, right now, after sitting on the sidelines for a couple of years, doing all kinds of office stuff and everything else, I'll tell you what, uh, you know what? I'll tell, I'll tell you, 2022 is going to be my year. And you know what? I, I even thought I've been starting on it because you know what? Everybody's been asking, are you and Chris Bad ever going to get back together? Are you, uh, are, you know what? Right now, the answer is no. No. Because you know what? He lost faith in himself when he decided to hire that fish into office in that other area. That made me so sick I had to leave the area. I'll tell you that much right now. And I'll tell you what. With that result, I have decided to go look for a new man. And you know what? I think I have my eyes on one. And I'll tell you what. You'll know where it's going to be down the road when I tell you. What the hell is she talking about? I don't know, Fatal. I was going to ask you the same thing, but somebody's coming down there to interrupt uh, Miss uh, J. Call here. And uh, who is it? Oh, it's Quinn McKay. And she's out there in her uh, little interview with gear in the back and stuff like that. Yeah, the same outfit she used to dress up in for Ring of Honor. Yes. Quinn McKay, our women's champion. Oh my God, it's Jay Cole. Hey Jade, how you doing? I am, uh, you know I Hey, I'm so happy to be women's champion, but I'm also happy to be wrestling you next week. Friday because I always looked up to you. You're always a champion. You're always a fighter and everything else. But you can't break off a of Chris Bat. You guys are like ice cream and apple pie. Honey, I'll tell you what, right now we're having our problems. Not much I can do about it. I know. I'll tell you what. You know, he's free to go look for another woman if he wants to, if that's what he feels like. But right now, I'm spreading my wings like the bird that I am. I'm going to spread my wings and go explore. No, 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 this can't be. You guys are like the, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, 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 come on. No, this can't be. Get over it, Quinny the Pooh. You know what, I'll tell you what. Right now, like I said, I stood on the sidelines a little too long, being everybody's assistant, being everybody's Robin the Girl Wonder sidekick and stuff like that. But you know what? I'm going to make this my year, and next week, I'm going to start by defeating you for that title. But Jade, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you my title if you want it. Just, just don't break up the Chris Bat. I mean, you guys, I looked, you, I looked, I looked up to you guys when I was younger. No. I know you had you guys as uh, problems. I know you made it through. You triumphed. I mean, you guys are champions in my book. Yeah, but you know what? Let me tell you something right now. Even power couples have their uh, differences. And you know what? Right now, Chris did something wrong. When he, saw, when he gave... If the management reigns of MSW to uh, that fish guy, you know what? He lost faith in himself. And I can't hang around with somebody that lost faith in himself. Maybe it was, it was just a bad case of judgment like everybody else does, Jade. I swear. You know? You can't do this. No, no, no. You can't do this. Come on. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll make a stipulation. Can I make a stipulation, please? Sure, honey, whatever you want. Let me know what, let me know what you want. I'll tell you that much right now. What do you want? You're a champion. You get the right. I'll give you that much credit. 
Okay, I'll tell you what, what I want. If I win next Friday against you, I want you to still stay with Chris Bad, okay? I I want you to make up with him. I want you to, uh, you know what the fans wanted, I want it. I'm pretty sure your friend Fatal wants it, everything else. You know what? Please. Wow. Boy, Quinn McKay has put some stipulations on her. Smart girl. You know what? I gotta give a I gotta give a clap to Quinn McKay about that. That, that was smart. Oh my gosh. That is a power play. Well, Marcus the King has left us, I guess. He must, I guess that uh, title loss must have got him distraught. No, 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 unfortunately. Yeah, I guess when you lose, I guess when you have a lot of uh, certain situations. And Marcus is saying that the referee did not see it, but he says that Ethan had a loaded knee. Well, coming up, folks, it's going to be the TV title match. Anastasia Hervine, who won the Battle Royal last week, and is going to get the uh, opportunity to go against Lindsay Snow for the television title. Yeah, definitely. She uh, won that Battle Royal last week, and now she gets the opportunity to basically... Challenge the champion. That's for sure. I'll tell you that much right now. And this should be a good one, I swear to goodness. Oh, no doubt about it. Let's get the ring right now, folks, and let's get this going. And there is Irvine ready for action. There is it. Yeah, did you notice on the back of her trunk she's got that she's got that uh, name, the Women of Windsor. That's what it stands for. Wow, wow is the Women of Windsor. Just to let you know, if you did not know that. And now she gets an opportunity tonight. comes Lindsay Snow, the television champion, who won that as a stipulation that when she was the runner-up to uh, Mandy Rose, Mandy chose the briefcase and she wound up getting the uh, TV title.
And there is Lindsey Snow right there, ready for action. folks this is going to be a good matchup contrast the styles you got both both of them very strong wrestling styles in both of these ladies and oh Irvine starting off here Irvine pounding away I'm shocked to see Irvine back over here I mean uh it's been a while since we've seen Irvine in the wrestling ring but just like Jade she has done well but I don't understand Jade's attitude what the heck a new man? And she's done with Chris Pat? I don't know, uh, tell you that much right now. Oh, and Irvine with a beautiful go around German suplex. Oh, man. Oh, there's an uppercut on those, uh, I guess, you can't really call it European, I guess you can call it Canadian uppercut. That would be proper for Irvine. Oh, and look at, look at Snow go with those jujitsu skills. Oh, look at that, beautiful reversal by the, by the sister of, uh, the legendary Y2J. Indeed she is, if you did not know that, that's, who her brother is. The legendary Lionheart Y2J Chris Jericho. And right now Lindsay in trouble. And, oh man, back first. Yeah, it's gonna sting. And now right now Irvine's gonna work on it again. And oh, ooh, man. And the knee gets busted up. Oh, man. Look at Dan Housen happy with his uh Good friend Lindsay, wow. Going for the pin is Lindsay. And Lindsay just thrust that head of Irvine into the turnbuckle. Did that much right now. Gosh, man. Lindsey Snow's got the challenger in trouble. Oh, man. Got, oh, got that, got that clutch on uh, Irvine, but Irvine finds a way to get, looks like finds a way to get out of it. Oh man, here we go. Oh! 
Whoa, oh man, Tombstone, oh no. Irvine's going in for the kill. Oh no. Oh man, near the ropes. This is a hell of a matchup. Oh, and look at that Lindsay now. Going to work there. Lindsay's got gang gang going here, folks. I'll tell you how much right now. Oh man, here we go. Oh, draw first in the turn. Oh. And now Irvine, wow. Oh man, and uh, Snow is just getting just pummeled now by Irvine, but finds her to get out. Oh, but she gets caught again. Oh man, right there. And Dan House, and I'll tell you what, I mean. I'm watching Dan House and just, uh... No! Wow! Oh boy! Oh! Set out Tombstone Pile Driver. Of course, may classify the late great Owen Hart. Lindsay Snow's in trouble and she's got nowhere to crawl to the ropes if she, she can do it. If not, oh man, she had a tap in her. Irvine just won the TV title. Oh my gosh. Both of the TV titles have changed hands. Anastasia Irvine has just won the TV title. Oh my gosh, and the fans are not happy with her. Tell you what, there you go right there, your new champion. As Irvine is now the TV champ, I mean, is this a precursor of what can happen next Friday to the other titles on the line? There's gonna be the question. Yeah, it should be interesting. I'll tell you that much right now. But coming up, we still got Bandito going against Seidel. Coming up next, main event time, ROH title.
Matt Seidel's been awarded with this opportunity because of his uh, progress in uh, WCW. And Bandio, he says he won a uh, match to prepare for uh, next week's uh, world title match against Danhausen. This should be a good one. Question is, can Dan, can Bandito grab uh, momentum going into the uh, matchup next week? That's going to be the question. Oh, goodness knows, folks. I'll tell you what. Right now, let's get the ring. I mean, look, that's all we can say right now. Should be a great matchup between these two great individuals. Should be a high-flying one because both these guys are known for their high-flying uh, skills. Let's call it what it is. There he is, folks, Matt Seidel coming up to the ring. Tell you what, this is going to be a good matchup, no doubt about it. Let's call it what it is. Here we go, folks. Get ready. folks the uh, ROH world champion Bandito This, like I said, once again, this is going to be a hell of a matchup. 
No doubt about it. And there's the champion right there. go and look at uh, look at Bourne going right at it Sight and now born. Now taking it to uh, Bourne here. Oh man, couldn't get the pin. Where's the stuff right now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, indeed, this has uh, been a little back and forth. Uh, you can tell what these uh, two are going to be back and forth. No doubt about it. There and almost. Wow. Oh, here we go. Oh. Short end pump handle driver. And oh boy, is he going for it? This could be it. Oh. Oh man, airborne. One, two. Oh my God! Emma Spornis just became the uh, new uh, Ring of Honor champion. 
Wow. And Bandito gracious in defeat, but uh, he's got he he uh, he lost all the momentum going into his title match next Friday. Might have unfortunately. But I'll tell you what, we thank you all for being here tonight and joining us for this show. For uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, Fatal, I'll let you take it away. It's okay. For Tony Tuton and Ari Bellson from here, I'm Fatal. And I hope you have a good night. I see you again next week. Good night, everybody.